Hey, hey, hey. Another Sunday night. Can't get around it, can we? Come on in and join me. Energy focus for the week. Terry and Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in and join me. We'll pick some cards. We're going to talk about the energy. See what's going on. What have you noticed this week for you? All of this retrograde energy, all of this energy coming around, pushing us a little bit down, a little backwards, making us look at stuff that maybe we don't want to look at, right? That's what I'm feeling. What about you? Hey, Miss Laurie. Z Girl is with us today. How are you feeling, Laurie? All this retrograde energy going on. I know for myself this week, I found myself in some really old energy. <laughs> Hello, that's exactly what we're talking about. I found myself really kind of remembering a time in my life 32 years ago this weekend. Yeah, a time that really holds still energy in me. And so what do you do? What do you do about that? All right, I got a heart, got a thumbs up. Yeah, there was heart energy. It really was, you know, and it kind of stays with us. It stays in the body and we heal a little bit by little bit. Right? And so, yeah, when the week came around, I kind of had to ask myself, what's going on? Why do I feel this way? And then when I looked at where we were in time and calendar and moving through the spring and this first weekend of spring, yeah, it did. It brought up some memories for me. And so I know slowing down, that is what's key and feeling that energy and going through it and pushing it, as not aside, but pushing it out really is what we need to do. Seeds of healing, right? Laurie, we talked about that on the podcast last week. Laurie was on talking about the spring energy. We talked about seeds of healing, and that's what we start out with during this time. We have a really crazy week of energy coming up again. Hey, Millie, how are you? Wasn't TEDx great yesterday? TEDx Birmingham. So proud of Birmingham. Just a little side note here. Super proud of Birmingham. TEDx was awesome. The speakers were amazing. So empowering. Really, really great. It was really nice. And yes, I was so happy to see Emily Maynard was out there doing yoga and meditation. We had a nice group for the meditation. Really great. And I got to ride in a Tesla. Zero to 60 in four seconds. So what an empowering day. It really felt good. Really felt good to hear this energy coming forward. There was even somebody talking about energy. Yep, he was speaking, not woo, but he was talking energy, the four layers. He was awesome. I went and talked to him afterwards. Really good. So what are you noticing for you right now? What are you noticing coming up, right? What are you noticing? Here we are in spring. Even the weather's been a little crazy. Today, we're like 70-something. I'm in like sleeveless, right? Sandals, crazy. But yeah, that's what it is. The other thing that I really want to mention too, before we get into the whole focusing and meditation, is how proud I am of our kids, right? Coming forward and standing up. Largest march since Vietnam. Yes, power to it. I've been looking for this day when that can come forward. I know as born in the 50s and 60s, as a child of that time, right? And being part of that Vietnam fight, it's like been wondering, where is that coming forward? Thinking it was like supposed to be my generation, right? But really those kids feeling that same energy when we were out there, that was a reflection, right? In the Aquarian, age of Aquarius, that was kind of a reflection going on. And now they're standing up. Now they're saying it too. And yes, we have to listen. I love this coming forward. I think it's awesome. Awesome of the awareness of the time is where we're at, right? So for yourself, man, if you're noticing you're caught in old energy, you notice you're, you're uncomfortable, you're unhappy in your life, man, now's the time to start standing up. Start learning some of these skills. Start getting your purpose out there, right? Hey, guys, I see you guys joining in. Hey, Sean, Laurie, Thelma, hello, y'all. Tell me what's going on. How are you feeling? What are you noticing about the work? Sean, my flowers, all in my yard. This is, in, yes, this is like inspired by you, right? What's the azaleas for, Sean? I was going to text you that today. We had a great group today for the bowls and restorative yoga. Another great way to really calm down, slow down, which is what we're going to do on the meditation to this afternoon is slow down. There's Adrian. Yay, she was there. How you feeling, Adrian? Flowers are everywhere, right? They really are. And I love these. The azaleas remind me of new birth, new growth, right? Really love them. Really beautiful to have around and to inspire us. We need them right now. We're having to deal with both parts of us, right? Having that compassion for ourselves is really important. We talked about this last week on the Empowered Spirit Show too, right? Having that compassion to look at both sides so that we can heal. We don't need to carry around all this old energy. And that's what's really key. We just don't need to carry it around. But how do we get rid of it? That's always the challenge. How do we get rid of it? So there's so many things. Run your energy. Breathe. We're going to do a really long, slow, deep breathing today. 
Yay, Adrian was at the uh, event. She said, refreshed, early bedtime. Absolutely. Some bloom, some amaryllises are blooming. Beautiful. Yes, I love it too. I love the awareness of it. So definitely a time to really find a way to bring these tools, these flowers, these energies, these essences into your life so that you can feel that slowing down a little bit. I'm looking for it on the feed here. I'm going to share it out. Maybe you'll share it too before we get going. Here we go. But it really important. And this is what we're talking about coming up. We're talking about getting out of some of this energy, releasing it, letting it go, and realigning the energy. Really important. As we move through this week, we have some crazy energy going on. We have still the retrograde. We have some solar flares. Who's been hearing about that? Laurie, what are you hearing about that, right? The solar flares. That solar energy coming in, that little bit of fire that goes along with all that we've been talking about really is happening. So you may have some disturbances coming up. You may have some sleep disturbances. You may be feeling a little bit out of pattern or something disturbing what your normal day would be. And I think that's kind of partial and part and partial to what it is going on, right? I got a yep on that. Sean said the Isaiah's for healing, youth, and beauty. All right, perfect. Yay. So here we go. I posted that. Let's see. Post one more. My attention will come right back in one second. Maybe you'll hit that share button for me too, and that'll speed things up. Let's see. One more. I'm going to put it in my co-starter group. Great co-starter program we have in Birmingham. I love this city. I really do. I love it. I love it. I love it. I know I'd never thought I'd be saying that again at 60 something years old, but it is true. We have so much going on in our city, and in the energy all around us. Definitely we do. And getting this work out into our everyday life, getting the ability to take a breath, to breathe, to be at a TEDx and sit outside and have a meditation with people joining in, that's what I call getting your spirituality out into everyday life, right? We have to restore. We have to replenish those resources that we have. Otherwise, how do we do anything? And I, for one, am big at that. I like, I know what it feels like to get run down. I know what it feels like to have a full schedule running all around and not get that time for myself. So yeah, I know I have to shut down. I know I have to go to bed early. I know I need these tools. So I love it. I love when we can see examples of this. Our kids standing up, opening their voice. We're sitting in downtown Birmingham, all color, all race, all religion, all around us, meditating together, really empowering our city, listening to thought leaders. This is where we are right now. So finding those resources, really important. Really, really important. So we do have a really intense week. All right, we have an intense week coming up as we start the week. Kind of be going around. We're going to feel that retrograde still happening. We're going to start to notice those, those disruptances. Maybe you don't really notice what it is, but maybe you feel something going on. Maybe in your sleep pattern, like I said, the solar flares. And then as we get to the end of the week, we're going to move into that full moon energy. So this week, I think I read somewhere, I think maybe, um, I don't remember where I read. Maybe it was from um, Integral Astrology, maybe Laurie. I don't remember where I read, but this is going to be a really intense week for a lot of us to do that inner healing work. It's really big. We're rising to that full moon. This light is coming forward for us to look at. We're looking at the depths of our soul right now really important. And then we open up to these spiritual moons. I know that full moon that comes around at Passover this weekend, freedom, freedom to open up, freedom to live your purpose, freedom to do this work, really important. Then we move into that rebirthing of Easter immediately following. So we've got a lot of that energy stirring up. We really do. So really my question is, where are you with that? When you go through this week, notice, notice you're getting thrown off. Notice if you're taking on other people's energy. That's a big one, right? How many of us are taking on other people's energy? Just because we do, right? So we really have to be careful of that this week too, especially those solar flares, that 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 bigger, like the sun is the, that masculine energy, right? And it's going to be like vibrations of waves coming at us in some kind of way, feeling like that. So we have to be careful with that of what's going on too. And then, like I said, as we pull toward the end of the week, those full moons, they're beautiful to look at, right? And we just remember, what is your freedom for you? right? It is a choice. Can you, do you want to stay caught in all of that stuff going around or do you want to really make that choice and have that freedom to do what you want to do? Build your practice, build the skills, really look beneath. You know, I was talking to somebody today and they were asking, I was like, complain about their job. What is it you want to do? Couldn't answer. Couldn't answer. What is it you want to do? And maybe that's what you need to get through and get underneath. Maybe that's how you can look at it and just ask those questions. What do I want to do? If I wasn't doing this, 
What would I be wanting to do? And right now, with all this stir up of energy going on, now's the perfect time to really open up to that energy and to find it for yourself. And then use these tools. Use these tools to really help you build a spiritual practice, to build these skills so that you can be in the synchronicities of your life, right? Rather than being caught in everybody else's energy, it's a choice. Be in that synchronicity of life where you find those moments in time that make you stop, that make you look around and see what is going on for you, that make you have those moments when you know it's all lining up exactly as it needs to be. That's where you build the confidence. That's where you build the courage. That's where you build those skills so you can get out there and live your purpose, right? Definitely. Hey, Ann Lamondola, good to see you. Ann is an old time friend from New York. All right. Hey, Rhonda, how was that last night? We had fun. Rhonda was at the TEDx too. All right. So just take a moment, take a deep inhale and notice where you are right now. Notice the energy that's come up for you this week. And let's see if we can move away some of the excess, some of the energy that isn't serving. Take a deep inhale. And let's just take a few moments and bring our energies together. He's playing the crystal balls all afternoon. Got my Tibetan bowl here. Inhaling. Oh, and exhaling. And let's light some sage. Let's just call in our energy. It was a tiring week. So let's just take a few moments and just really ground our energy. Focus in for the week. So we have another intense week coming up. Inhaling, <sighs> and exhaling, sending that breath all the way down. And let's do a nice, long, slow, let slow be the main focus. Inhaling, and exhaling, sending that breath all the way down, deep into the earth. And as you inhale, bring that fun energy. I love that. Yes, they were fun. Bring that fun energy with you. And as you exhale, breathe out whatever it was that is exhausting for you. Inhaling. And exhaling. Feel that energy build. Long, slow, deep inhale. And a long, slow, deep exhale. As you begin to bring your energy, bring in the spiritual energy right in align with the physical energy. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feel the feet on the earth. And let's just take a minute and call in. Connect with the masters. Connect with your archangels. Call in your spirit guide. Ask to be guided, to be protected. As you move through this week, call in. Ask for clarity. Ask to move the old energy out of the way. Energy follows intention. Intend to release it. Let it go. As we open up with these seeds of healing for the spring, as we move even further into this retrograde energy, refresh, renew, restore. Ask for that kind of guidance this week. Inhaling. And exhaling, feel your energy centering, pulling it back, all the things we do, scatter around, pull it back, call it back, right into the center, take a nice deep inhale, and exhale, feel the feet on the floor, feel that centering, drop into the heart for a moment. Look at your why, why you do the things you do for the spring. Why you do your work? What is it that drives you each and every day? Open up to that energy. Inhaling and exhaling. Just bringing that energy back, coming back. Feel a little quieter, feel a little calmer, coming back. Nice. We need to ground, we need to center. All that running around, all that multitasking. No, slow down. Let that be a motto for you this week. Slow down, especially as that full moon builds. Beautiful spiritual full moon this weekend. 
All right, so I chose the good tarot today. I love the good tarot. I thought we needed a little bit of extra goodness, a little bit of extra heart energy, the beautiful cards, Colette Baron reads. I usually use her with some of the oracles on the podcast. So this is the good tarot. I love the cards. So if you haven't chosen a number, one, two, or three, it was left, right, center, left, center, right, one, two, three. The first card, which is our universal card, which is really quite perfect for this time, it's the five of water. So this is exactly where a lot of us are right now. And I know I shared that story with myself today and bringing up some of that old energy, but it's processing all that energy, processing all those things that are around us, processing all the emotional things that are dragging you down. Look at her. She looks caught. She looks caught in the water. She looks caught by the snails and the seahorses and the shells and all. And it's like, woe be unto me, right? How many people feel that way right now? Give me a thumbs up if that's what you're feeling, right? A lot of emotional energy going around. All right, so that's the universal card. So what we want to do is look at these other choices to see how you can work with this energy to move that out. We want to release that out. We definitely want to release that out. All right, I got a thumbs up. So if you chose one, if one was the card you picked, this is the Queen of Fire. So the Queen of Fire is a really great card because this is going to remind you to use your passions to co cooperate to co-create, to work with others, to be in cooperation, all right? Bring your fire to the picture. And that's going to help you when you get into some of that passion and can connect with others. We don't feel as separated anymore. We don't feel as alone. We don't feel as distracted. And that's going to help with that woe energy of too much of everybody else's. This brings you back to your light so that then you can show up and offer your help, offer your services, right? Whenever we help others, it gets us out of that woe energy too. So instead of pulling it in, have that fire, have that passion to connect with others, to bring your light to the table. I love this, right? Really pretty colors. Some purples, some darks, got that little passion, got that fire that she's holding, sitting in her throne. Where can you sit in your throne? All right, and release that excess energy. I love this card that came up because it's the sun. How perfect with all the solar flares they're talking about. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful card. This is an abundant card. Look at the sunflowers. Look at that halo around her crown. Look at the golden light. This is just like, you know, your sun is shining on your back door, my friend, right? Remember that. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. So this reminds us of that. When we can be in gratitude, we can release the other. We can let this go when we offer gratitude, even for the excess stress or the excess emotion or excess energy. We offer gratitude. We can rise above it. We can feel that power, open up that third chakra, bring that yellow in, really, and open up to the abundance in your life. Remind yourself the sun is shining, all right? I know we all have hardships. I got them too, right? But it's like, yeah, right now I got all I need and I am okay, right? Just for today, we know that from Reiki. So find this area in your life too that you can remember the sun is shining. You can feel abundant with all that is around, like the abundance in flowers we were talking about earlier, right? Beautiful card, the sun, reminding you, right? The sun is shining. Even if you feel a little stressed or distressed, the sun is shining on your back door. Don't you love that saying? I love it. And then the third card, if you pick three, is Eight of Fire. Now, this is an interesting card, too, because, again, all this fire energy, right? We're drawing fire, and this is what we're dealing with in the cosmos, right, Laurie? Laurie will tell us that. Definitely. Now, this card can represent swift change, right? Which, okay, maybe once we get rid of all that excess energy, we can see our path. It also can represent a journey. Maybe you actually are going on a trip, changing your environment up. But it generally represents a swift shifting of fire energy. Look at it. It looks like it is on a journey. It's like she's got her little stuff. She's like this little princess in there. And she sits on this animal. I don't know. Almost looks like a panda bear or something. But she's coming along a journey. So maybe you are going to go on a journey. And maybe it's a journey deeper into yourself so that you can make the changes you need. Really important. That fire energy can inspire us to do these shifts of energy. So just to kind of round it back up here, we are going through a week of intense energy, no doubt. Careful how much you take on. Release the excess energy that you already have, all right? And as you do that, find that fire in you. Show up for who you are. Show up for you. And cooperate. Be in cooperation with others. Help. Bring your light to the picture and bring that community energy out for all. And then remember the sun is shining. The sun is shining on your back door. This is a beautiful, abundant card. So even when we feel that stress and that excess energy, take a moment just for today. Remember that being present with your energy. Offer gratitude for all that you have and let this energy grow. Acknowledge those sun flares. Even if they feel disruptive, 
stirs it up, helps us uncover and grow, right? And then the third card is the five of fire. Shift, shift, <laughs> swift changes. That's what I'm trying to say. Swift changes coming forward, all right? Maybe it's a travel, but maybe it's just a shift in you, which this is great as we move into the beginning of spring. It's definitely a good time to make these shifts, definitely. So how do these cards resonate with you? What are you thinking? Are you in alignment with it? Really important when we come into those synchronicities in our life, which is actually actually what we're going to be talking about on this week's episode of the Empowered Spirit Circle, uh, Empowered Spirit Show. I had someone come forward that responded to the spiritual experience and is sharing her spiritual experience and what has shifted in her life by following these synchronicities, by being aware of what's going on and building a practice. Christina Scarber, very excited to have her on the show. The episode turned out so beautifully. We both got choked up sharing our experiences and how those moments can be so powerful. So that'll drop on Wednesday. Look for that one as well. Very excited to share that information. And then brings me to a good point. How do you build a spiritual practice? How do you do it? So I'm going to be offering a spiritual challenge, five-day spiritual challenge beginning April 2nd. All right, so this next week, I'm going to be talking about it. If you join in, there's a link below. Click on the link. There's some stuff I'm going to have you gather. We'll do a little, little spiritual scavenging hunt, whatever you call those things. I'm going to have you looking for the energies and the elements to pull together. All right, Thelma says she needs to make a shift this week and through the next month. Good. Thelma, come join us in our spiritual challenge. I'm going to be supporting you. I'm going to help you create this practice so that you can make these shifts, so that you can get through this season feeling good, renewing your resources. All right, so the link is below. You'll get some emails from me. We'll be posting in the Empowered Spirit Circle. So you need to be in the circle by April 2nd. I'll be coming in there every day offering you tips, helping you to build this practice, helping you to be a master to your intuition, to your spirit, to your mind, working on all those layers. So be sure to sign up for that as well. Definitely. All right, let me check the post here. Anybody need a card? Anybody want a special pulling? I would love to do that before we hang up here. All right, I think we have some people happy with their cards. That was awesome. Good one. Number three, good. I got a couple of hearts. Rhonda was happy with hers. All right, Brooke, how you doing? Whoops, let me know if you need to have a card pulled. Anybody else? would love to. Love these cards, right? Aren't they just beautiful? Very empowering. All right, good. Yay, Brooke. Brooke's going to take me up on it. All right, here we go. Millie, too. Here we go. All right, pulling from the good tarot. We have an eight of water. So eight of water, again, is emotional energy. There's a chest here. I think this eight of water, it really reminds us to be thankful for what we have. Look how he's sitting in front of that chest with the light there. So offering gratitude, know that there is an abundant supply of energy coming for you. Look at that treasure chest, Brooke. Where can you find those treasures in your life, all right? And again, water is an emotional element. Sometimes we can take some of this for granted and get caught in the heaviness of it. Find the way to let it empower you and let it inspire you. Eight is infinite potential. Open up to those emotions, let them flow, and notice the treasures in your life, all right? Very important to bring them forward. Don't turn your back on them, and don't forget to offer gratitude. Really important. Love that card. Really pretty. All right, Millie, Lori next. Millie, six of fire. All right, so six is passions and desires. Look at that. Looks like the ship is in the air. Take a journey. Take a ride. Where are you in your life, and where are you bringing your work out into the community? All right, look at that. Take that perspective. Have it rise up for you. What is your passion and desire? Where is that direction moving for you, and how can you bring this out? Six is generally about community work, right? Two threes. Opening it up and bringing it out. This universe is asking you at this time. Fire again is passions and desires, all right? So where can you bring that forward? It's action. It's an action card for you, all right? All right, Lori. Let's see, Lori. What's up for you? Here we go. Inhale, Lori. Lori, we got, whoops, it's flying out of the deck. All right, it's a queen, Lori. Queen of Earth. Love it. Queen of Earth. So this reminds you to ground, right? Earth is our pentacles. Be a master to that. Sit in your throne. Own that work, all right? You're doing an awesome job with what you're doing. This is just reminding you of that. She's the queen. She can sit in her throne. She can own her work. Look at it. looks like she has jewels coming all around her. Look at her. 
Look at her antlers as her crown. So wear that crown for you, Laurie. Wear it this week. Own your work. You're doing awesome. Love the queen of earth. Very grounding. Very abundant. That is perfect for you. Give me a thumbs up, Laurie. I love it. Mindy. All right, Mindy. Love a card. All right, Millie says thank you. Yes, Millie. I know you had some new work coming forward. I want to hear more about it. All right. Got a heart. All right. <coughs> Mindy, this card is for you. Ten of water. All right, Ten of Water. Look at the Lucky Buddha there. So this is, again, emotional energy, love energy all around. Look at the happiness of the Buddha. All right, Ten is like really, I think this card sometimes can even be like our abundant happiness card, right? And the, and just really that wealth of, of energy that's all around. Be happy for what you have. There is something maybe coming to an end, but it's a good thing. All right, so let it inspire you to bring some closure as you move into this new season and let it inspire you to begin something new, all right? Ten of Water, really nice card. Lucky Buddha, wish on his belly, all right? That card reminds me of that, wish on his belly for whatever it is. Post what it is, love to hear what you're going through. All right, anybody else? I love these cards. I'm not as familiar with them, but I love the images. I think Colette Baron reed does a beautiful job with all her cards. She has a new shaman deck out. Very interested in looking at that too. But I love the energy of the elements, which actually we're going to be working with in their challenge. I'm going to have you start collecting elements for your spiritual space and how to put it all together. So please do. Please do. Join the link below. Come into the group and post. Let me know what's going on so that I can guide you through this. I can help us all move through us. I know times I need help. I got my own stuff I'm going through. So I love to bring this together. Bring in this energy of Queen of Fire. Cooperation. Let's do this together. Let's move through these challenging times. Let's hold the space for people to open up and to shine their light. All right. Yeah, thanks again for joining me. Love to be here on Sunday night to pull the energy in together. Never heard that saying, but I love it. All right, there we go. All right, guys. I love pulling our energy together. Very important. Don't forget to slow down as you move through this week. Check out the Empowered Spirit Show. If you didn't hear last week with Z-Girl Astrology, be sure to check it out. And then the new one coming in on Wednesday. And come join us in the challenge. All right, have a great evening to your spirit. Namaste.